Hey guys, Forrest from Gearful here, and these are the new for 2023 Crispy Brickstall Mountain GTXs. Over the last five days, we did 25 miles on a local single track. Overall, we gained and lost 5,000 feet of elevation. You're also gonna see this boot on my feet for the 50 and 100 pound pack test that we did for 2023. We did all that for an adequate early impression, and here's our thoughts. All right, so let's lead it off with specifications. The Brickstall Mountains, this is gonna be your nine inch variant of a full synthetic mountain boot. A size 10 pair of these is gonna weigh in at about 3.4 pounds. And then talking to the technology and materials, we'll work our way from the top down. Now the uppers, anywhere you see gray, that's gonna be a brushed microfiber synthetic material, again, to take the place of any natural leather. And then these other materials are gonna be what they call a Putex spider fabric. Don't get wrapped up on the name. The key point there is the technology. On the market today for any similar material, this is gonna give you the optimal durability and abrasion resistance so that you should get a lot of use out of this boot over a lot of miles on the trail. In that same region, the Brickstall Mountains are gonna have the ABSS technology from Crispy. That's their ankle bone support system. And what that gives you is really good solid ankle support while still remaining lightweight and rather minimal profile at the same time. You're not having to give uh, additional weight or additional bulk around that region to still get the same support around your ankle. The Brickstall Mountains also have an asymmetrical lacing pattern. That's going to give you the ability to get good tension around the top segment of your foot so you can set it really to your personal liking. And then additionally there's going to be a little bit of a change in the lacing design right there midway on the hinge point of your foot. And what that enables you to do is get a certain tension on the lower segment while still being able to set the tension differently on the upper half if you like, or if that upper half loosens inadvertently on the trail, you still have that proper tension sit, uh, set where you want it on the lower half. The Brickstall Mountains are gonna have the EFX midsole within, and they're gonna be fully wrapped in a rubber sole guard around that outer perimeter. And they're gonna have a Gore-Tex liner and more, you know, your standard rubber uh, Vibram sole. All of those specifications add up to a rating of three on the crispy flex scale. So for perhaps what matters most, what were my early impressions? What I found is that the Brickstall Mountain is gonna fit true to size and it's gonna be incredibly, com incredibly comfortable right out of the box. I didn't have this boot on my feet for more than an hour or two in the office before we took part on our first ascent. And from that point through the entire duration of our early impressions, I never had any hot spots any areas in where I thought a blister might be forming and I couldn't have been any more pleased with the overall comfort and support of this boot. Additionally on these trails and in that heavy pack test, I always felt like my ankles were well supported. I do wanna mention that I generally don't have uh, ankle issues, fortunately, not having rolled them much in the past and such, but I did notice the added support of the ABSS when compared to other crispy models I've worn that didn't have that technology. So key point there, you do get the support and they do still feel lightweight at the same time. I did find that their lacing system is incredibly comfortable and incredibly effective. I was able to set tension and get a good fit around the top contour of my foot. I did find that little intermediate change in the lacing design right there on the hinge of the foot, a little bit cumbersome for taking the boot, you know, on and off uh, quickly. And I was a little bit skeptical, but what I found over these 25 miles is that when the upper loosens inadvertently on the trail, I was able to still have that proper tension that I set from the get-go for the lower half of the boot. Lastly, for a first impression, I want to speak to that flex rating of three. In my opinion, having worn several other models of Crispy, I do truly believe this is right in the middle of being a flexible or a stiff boot. And what I think is that this boot is going to suit incredibly well for your early to mid season hunts that lie ahead, it's gonna be the one of my personal choosing. This boot gives you, it feels lightweight and it gives you adequate support, but with a flex rating of three, this boot still enables you to feel the soil beneath your sole. So if you're stepping on loose rocks or if you're stepping on a stick, you can feel that and then you can adjust, you know, your body weight or your stepping pattern accordingly so that when those stocking opportunities lie ahead, you can really make the most of them. For being a mountain boot, this boot excels incredibly well in that area. I do want to mention that I probably won't go to this boot for late season hunts, uh, especially when you know the snow starts to accumulate on the ground. 
However, again, this is my absolute go-to boot for early and mid seasons that lie ahead. So that wraps up my early impressions so far of the Brickstall Mountains. If you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you got any questions, visit us at gearful.com, contact us there. We'd be happy to help you. And thanks for watching.